what's different now in this training camp, you know. Uh, I'm a lot more clear-headed, you know. I have, I don't have stuff hanging over my head. And I did, I, I had a, I had a little bit of some issues, you know, legal troubles. And um, I ended up having to go away and do a little bit of time. And when you have everything you, you love stripped away from you for a little while, it'll really make you think about things. Fighting wasn't really in, in the equation. My wife, at first, doesn't, didn't really like it too much, you know, so um, we kind of had a deal that, you know, I was get this gym membership, just get in shape, and, and then, you know, just a couple of times a week. Well, then I started getting in shape, and, and you, you get the itch no matter what, you know. It's yeah. nothing bad, but nobody yeah. show up. You get yeah. three people. Bro, yeah, it's, it's hard for people to swap me. Man, I'm down for everything, bro. Nobody, normally my yeah, side. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Two. 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 You know, it's been 2013 since my last fight, since my last weight cut. Uh, the cut's going good, everything's going smooth, but I did forget about the, the discipline that you have to have as far as, as you know, your diet, your, your uh, meal prep. Because when it comes down to weigh-ins, nobody's going to cut that weight for you. And you've got to weigh in at a certain number when you sign that contract. That's the number. I'd be like, hey, just come speak for a second, you know what I'm saying? Just show up, share it for me, because yeah. it's about giving back. Man. Well, and you know, I've been, I had both sides, man. You know, I had a rough, exactly. I, I had a rough patch, man, and, and you know, I mean, they sent me to prison, and I, I changed my life. You know, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. See, that's and, and you, there, you can go there, and you can get real bad, you can follow the wrong road, and you can go there and realize, like, everything that I love just taken away from me. Yeah, and that's what and people I realize, understand. like, I'm thankful for that, because I feel like God showed me, like, Look, this is, this is what you can have, the life, you know? Yep. This is kids and your wife. Yep. You don't want this, you know? I was just the low of the low. And when I come home, it's like, it's like a whole new, everything's just, <laughs> Mentality I'm more different. appreciative, yep. you know what I mean? I just come in here with you and working a little bit, it's like, we get excited in here, man. Yeah. That means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Well, we both, I think we both been through down similar paths, man, where, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's hard. Yeah, that's, that's women ain't no joke, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That woman ain't for brothers, bro. <laughs> it ain't no joke, bro. Yeah. I, done that, I done that swimming. Hey, that's a whole nother. And it's cool body, you know, you're wearing your arms. Yeah, you can't rest nothing. And sparring, you can, you can only rest yeah. nothing. I can rest my left and you my right. You can't really rest because <laughs> when you rest and you're sinking. Right now, the mindset that I have, you know, going into this fight and going into the, the fights coming up is just a lot different than when I first started. I was young. You know, uh, just really, I'd make any decision, you know, I wouldn't think about. I, I didn't really treat my body as I was supposed to outside of the gym. 
You know, in the gym I was 100%, but out there I was eating whatever I wanted, you know, drinking this, drinking that, you know, whatever. You gotta cut a lot of stuff out, even the stuff that you love, you know. If you want something bad enough, you gotta go get it. Ultimately, just, I, I understand that my body needs this, you know, my body needs that, you know. Uh, you really gotta watch what you put in your body and, and just to be able to train to your fullest potential and fight. You know, I don't, the real reward doesn't come until you get that win on Saturday night. They are cold and cavern. How does that look? That's what it looks like. Pain. Pain. <laughs> Causing pain. Relieving pain. Pain's always on his oh, yeah. diet. A steady diet of pain. That's why I get the doctor to take care of me. Absolutely. Take care of us. Absolutely. What do you feel like today? Um, good. Yes. Yeah. Any major no complaints? No, no, no complaints. Well, we'll fix that. So you and TJ have the you know, like the, the length of like an albatross. Yeah. And you know it's so it's so different yeah. for me because he's I'm used to being the taller guy. I know. He's taller yeah. and longer, so it makes, it really makes me work. Yeah. Makes you really get in there and try to get inside. Oh, yeah. You know, now you know what people are struggling with you. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. There's only a difference about that much more, but all of a sudden you're like, how could that be that much harder? I know. And intimidating. And it's so much different. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I don't have the confidence. I'm coming inside. I'm like, I'm a doink. Make you move. Yeah. Just walk. Yeah. Man, he's so into, so into everything. Always asking questions. Always willing to learn. Uh, and always checking on you, you know, as, a, as an athlete, he's always checking and make sure how you're feeling, you know, what's going on in your camp. What's different? What can we What can we do different? What can we work on? You know, he's always there to there to talk. I mean, even if you just want to go in there and talk, you know, for thirty minutes about something, he's always there. You know, him and his wife Lori, great people, awesome to talk to, and you can lose some time talking to them. They're mm -hmm. awesome people. This. You want to get this thing? Within an hour of the actual call, you want to. Time that one right. Uh, chance to go to Pittsburgh this weekend or no? Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple. I just definitely want to see Theron. That was mm -hmm. primary, but Frank. Yeah, our I was talking to him last night. What a cool guy. Mm -hmm. He's very cool. Very intelligent. Oh yeah. yeah. What I like about him, he's two years for being retired in the military. Mm -hmm. Highway Patrol. Uh, good coach. More than anything, great dad. Yeah. He's yeah. a super guy. When you, He's a good guy. When you see him talk to his kids, they're, they're, they're fighters too. Uh -huh. And he doesn't let them get too high or too low. Right. You know, don't get too much ego and you better be humble. And I like that. He, but he, I've overheard many times a conversation with him. It's like, man, I wish I had a, if I had boys this way, you need to talk to your, make them men, you know? You look great. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Look, look at his reach difference. I mean, you know, he, he's got me by a couple here, but look at this difference. That's, oh that's, that's, oh, yeah. where that's, that's where you get hurt. That's where you get hurt. That's it. That's Training it. going great for you? Going great, yeah. Got spark yeah. TJ a little bit, so that's yeah. kind of... Yeah, we've been working quite great a bit together. Could be here, uh, right? Yeah. We've been working good together. Yeah. He's got a lot of good pointers. Yeah. He does, um, does he? Yeah. That's so awesome. I wish every parent, pa patient had a pair of smiles like that. It's like they care about their back. You get that to a point where he smells something burning, you may want to back it off a little bit. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, we appreciate you, Doc. Keep it coming, man. This is the time. Uh, there's not a sport on the planet right now that doesn't have a chiropractor on the sidelines working yeah. on these guys. There's, there's finally that kind of mm, collective uh, awareness now that uh, it's not just the spinal stuff. I mean, it's pretty important. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's the majority of what we do. But, Knees, feet, ankles, yeah. you know, hands, wrists, things like that. If you need anything particularly there, you let me know. How's the baby? He's going? getting big. He's starting to figure out that he can run now. Aww. So he gets Good go stuff. He gets going and he has trouble getting stopped. Got his dad time. <laughs> My kids, you know, when I come home and and they're they're proud of their dad, or even after a win, you know, they're proud of their dad because. Their daddy just won. My family sees that, you know, that I'm pushing some I want, you know, some I want to do. The positivity rubs off. I mean, they, they're positive with me, you know, even on the days that it's a struggle where we want time together, but I still got to get ready for this fight, you know. Standing four foot, 57 pounds, <laughs> Peyton Kavanaugh. <laughs> 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 
Oh, 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 you're celebrating a little early. Let's get it on. Take down. Careful. Get, get your legs on After me and Peyton. Grew up in Galena, Galena, Kansas, you know, uh, Man, I would never change that for nothing. Galena is a big part of my life. My kids go to school there. Uh, love the love that town. You know what I mean. I always will. Everybody kind of has a certain bond. Um, it's just really cool now that see my kids go to school. You know, and uh, their teachers, some of their teachers, I knew them as a kid. You know, going through school. So I think that's really cool. Hey, go go pick out a movie and get ready to go ahead, and we're gonna come tuck you in and play, okay? Where's Jazz? Dear Lord, thank you, Lord, for watching over us today. Thank you for keeping us together and keeping us strong. Thank you for blessing us with everything you blessed us with, Lord. And thank you for a wonderful day. Thank you for keeping us all healthy. And just please let us have a good night's sleep. And thank you for the wonderful dinner. And let us have a good day at school tomorrow and work. And bless us as we go through our daily routines. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pushing through that bar. Those legs need to be pushing down through that floor. You're pushing through that bar. Everything's nice and tight like that. So right now, before we do anything, everybody stand tall, squeeze your quads. Squeeze them down. Flex those, flex them. You're showing them off and flex them down. Now, get up in your toes. Keep them squeezed. Open those toes. Squeeze harder. Squeeze your butt. Stay there. Stay balanced. Up. There it is. There we go. Oh, yeah. Great. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, what's going on? I had a little bit of some issues, you know, legal troubles, and um, I ended up having to go away and do a little bit of time. Ultimately, I would never change that for nothing. You know, me and my, my cousin, we had a, a life-changing event happen to us. You know, it was, it was a, a close call, a close deal, you know. I learned a lot about myself, about my family, you know, about people that are really there for you, uh, and I wouldn't change that for nothing. I'm blessed that that happened to me. Every, we all make our own decisions, and uh, we all learn from our decisions, and that is huge for me that, that I went there, I, got to, I had the, a second chance to come out and, and do something different, and now you know, I get to see my kids every day, and it's, it's all different. Everything is, everything is a lot more simple you know, when you, you choose the right things. I don't want anybody to ever get down. If something happens in your life, you know, uh, don't be ashamed of it. If you learn from it, it's not, it's not a mistake, it's a lesson. So no matter how far you in, ultimately, no matter what bad decisions you've ever made in your life, there's always a place to turn. You know, some people, you have so many of these suicides, you know, some, most people, you know, they think there's no way out, there's no other way. There always is a way. If you, if you, if you want to change, you can make it happen, no matter, I was at the lowest of the low, you know, in the, sitting in a prison, you know what I mean? And I wanted, I knew, I knew, that I could make something different. Before, I was saying a lot, you know, oh, I'm done this time, I'm done this time. But when you were really forced to go into a situation like that, and they really set you down and, and you know, make you think about it, you know, there's two ways you can go. You can either go there and it, it could turn out worse for you, you can go down the wrong path, of course, or you can go there and realize what you have and realize what you can change. And I'm blessed enough to be young enough and, and go there and, I mean, there's guys there that, that have wasted their whole life, you know, and haven't learned and, and I'm, I'm just thankful that, that my eyes were opened, uh, that I have another chance to come out here and, and do what I love to do, take care of my family and, and be a dad and a husband every day. Switch. Regular, I'm sorry, you go. That's the best thing, I'll get you guys to be able to hear your voice in there. That's why it's hard to form as somebody that you've never worked with. Right. They can't hear you that tuned in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's been a cold for quite a while now. It does real well for me. This is my son. He's a fighter also. Great fighter. Excellent. Switch.
I don't, I'm not really much on making predictions, you know. Uh, even though I have my own predictions in my mind, uh, man, it just, yeah, it's a long time coming. I can't wait to get in there. I can't wait to show everybody, you know, what I've learned and, and the work that's being put in, you know. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you try to eat, I produce it and rapping. I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie And I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me, yeah I produce all my own beats and I have no intention of losing my publisher, yeah Independent individual, boy, I've been eating our passive residuals, yeah Let's be professional, thanks for your time but I had to decline at the Did you see uh, the European crop that I did the other day on Facebook? I thought it was like, run around and armbar you. Yeah, I know. Boom! No, armbar. You're honest. I don't know what armbar is. That was an armbar to me. No, armbar is like this. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah. yeah. It's an armbar. Oh, it's Preston Cole. How are you, man? Good. How you doing? Good, bro. Good. Let's start with the weigh-in tonight. Yeah. Tonight is the weigh-in? No, Friday. Right. Friday. It's not bad. What you talking about? You can eat after that, can't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can gain all that weight. <laughs> Friday. Friday. Come out to whiskey. He's not eating. Saturday. He's drinking. No. On Friday night. Oh, I'm eating. What are you eating? I still have to eat some healthy stuff, so I think that Saturday I get to eat whatever I want after that. Since 2013? Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching it a couple times. Yeah, man, this is going to be a game changer. Yep. No, I'm going to talk to the lab. I'm not going to see. I'm going to see water. Yeah. And you want that link to show off how it's coming from the middle of the road across over there. Okay. All right. together I'm thankful period you know for every single person that has put in any time into this you know what I mean for somebody to invest time in you it means something you know what I mean a lot there's a lot of us local guys coming together and fighting on the show and and it just we all just want to show you know that even if you're in a small town or a small area we can we can make stuff happen you know and I'm really excited to get out there and perform <laughs> you know, there's so much to do around here. There's there's victory, there's strike team, there's mat club, there's there's so much that you can do and have fun with other than running the streets, getting in trouble, getting in fights, you know. If you want to get in fights, get some gloves on and get in the gym. Me and my brother, we've always kind of learned the hard way, but if I can help somebody learn a different way before taking the hard way, because, you know, there was no, that whole experience of my life was no easy experience. My wife uh, stuck by my side the entire time I was gone, you know, you know and, and she didn't have to. Ultimately, that's a, that's a hard deal, you know, when you're, you're way by a choice that you've made sitting somewhere. What do you weigh? 136? One what? 136. Gavender. Up over. There Let's see what your opponent weighs, really your head. Go over there for a second. 
we'll talk about it here. Look this way, guys. Robert Perry, Frank Miller on deck. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> and Tony Wells. Tony Wells. Tony Wells. Tony Wells. He's ready to go. It's like, kind of like united as one athletes around here. Everybody, we're all working to help each other, get each other better, get each other uh, prepared. There's a whole world of guys to fight, you know what I mean? And, and we're all here to help each other. First thing in MMA is we're in a boxing ring. If you go through the ropes, do not grab the ropes and hold on the ropes at any time, just like the cage. But if you go in through the ropes and you feel like you're going to hit the floor or you're going to go through them, grab a hold of the rope to keep you from hitting the ground at any time. And basically, if you're dragging yourself underneath those ropes, I'm going to give that guy that dominant position back to the center of the ring. So don't try to drag yourself underneath the ropes thinking it's going to save you. Okay? I've been doing this stuff ever since MMA started before when it was illegal. So don't try any kind of cool stuff because this is how we used to do it. This way right here, back in the old days. All right? Good? God bless all of you. Good luck to you, man. Everybody in? Dear Lord, thank you, Lord, for bringing us together, Lord. Thank you for uh, everything that you do for us in our lives, Lord. Thank you for keeping us all healthy, Lord. Thank you for blessing us and being able to do what we love, Lord. Please, we ask for your protection over us, Lord, and our opponents. And let us have fun and do what we do, Lord. Protect us in the battle. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 You like to fight? You got heart? You come in here. Don't go out there. You know what I mean? Change something. Get in. Get in the gym. Find. It. There's a lot of people that started off rough that, that come in the gym and and it changes their life. You know what I mean? It just helps them. I love uh, when a, a younger kid or anything like that comes in. You know, it's just if you can take them in and just show them. I will show them every gym. You know, here's my cell phone number. Call me anytime. You know, we'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to help someone, you know, I, and I love the sport. If, you, if you're having trouble making decisions and, and having trouble in life, you can focus on something like that and really get your mind like intrigued by things that you can learn. And once you start learning, it clicks, clicks, and you'll just take off. People notice you working hard and it means something and then you get a little pat on the back or something and it shoots you a little bit higher and then you're like, well, man, maybe that life wasn't so fun. This is where it's at. You know, this is where it's at. People saying, you know, my son thinks you're awesome. That means a lot, you know, and people don't understand, like, that's cool. People are watching you, so that's awesome, you know. Not only, it's not only the fighting, it's, you know, my family, being a dad, waking up every day, being a husband, being a friend, being a brother, you know, being a son. I'm blessed to just, this entire thing, you know, life is a blessing to me. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in round